OK, so now that Windows Home Server 2011 is installed and up and running, we need to connect our computers to it and install the dashboard, should we need to use that. So the first thing we do is we fire up Internet Explorer and we want to type in the address HTTP colon slash slash the server name of your Windows Home Server. So in my case, it's server, not very original and type connect. This will bring us to the software screen, which we can either select for Windows or for the Mac. In our case, we're going to go for Windows. So we click download software for Windows. We're going to run the software rather than save it. And yes, we do want to allow changes. Now the software is going to try and find our Windows home server. This is very similar to version one. And it's now found it. And it's going to tell us now that there are a number of steps for the wizard that we're now going to walk through. So we click next. It's also telling us that the computer might restart several times during this process. So don't be alarmed if that's the case. Basically, it needs Microsoft.NET Framework 4 or later. If you've already got it installed, then great. It doesn't have to install it. If you haven't got it installed already, then it's going to need to do that. So the process might take a little bit longer for you. But either way, you'll be told what's going on and just be patient. So now let's click next to continue. Right, well, it's checked and verified, and that was very quick because I've already got the .NET framework installed. It didn't need anything else. So now it's asking me for the password for the server. So this is what you've already set up re previously. So just type it in. Click Next. This may take a few moments, so be patient. And it's done that. Now it's asking us if we'd like to review and modify the description for the computer. I don't have a description set up for this computer and I'm not worried either, so I'm quite happy to leave that. However, you could put anything you like here. So for example, if the computer was in your office, you could type office. If it's in the kitchen, you could type kitchen and so on. I think you get the idea. So we click next. Again, it's asking us do we want to wake it up automatically to back it up. Um, I'm gonna say no in this case, because if my computer's asleep, I'm not worried. Click Next. Asking if I'd like to participate in the customer experience program. Again, that's up to you. For the sake of this particular video, I'm going to say no. And now the connector software is actually downloaded off of the home server and installed and configured. And various connections are being made. This can take uh, anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. So again, do be patient, but you're told all the times what is actually happening. As you see, we're nearly there. And that's it, it's finished. My computer's now connected to the server and I can now choose to open the dashboard and start administering the server, which is the auto choice. So you, the default choice, so you can either untick that box and click finish or you can leave it as and open the dashboard. For, for this video, I'm gonna untick that and click finish. And that's it, now all we need to do is close down that window and we're done.